sometimes you gotta take it to the borderline. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I've never been loved like this before. Now I'm lonely evermore since you came into my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Stephanie Mills is playing in my background. Now, I'm going to have to turn her off in a second, but you know what? Never knew love like this before. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Once she was lost, now she's now. Now, now she's now. Now she's found. Okay. She's finally found her feet on solid ground. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Mills, the great Stephanie Mills. We have a conversation we're going to have. You're not going to see these type of conversations on YouTube. Well, you haven't seen them prior to me. Okay? Nobody was using the chat GPT models to ask such questions. Now, if you don't believe me, go back and check. And I promise you, if you did, and if there is somebody else doing it, then you're going to gain an education. But if there isn't nobody else doing it, then you've come to the right place! Anyway, give me one second. Wake up. I have a corporation, comma, and I have $95,000 in credits that I want to assign to my business partner, comma. The only problem is, comma, I need to know on what form do I document the withholdings of Social Security and Medicaid, seeing that my corporation seeing has elected to do withholdings at the end of the year via permitting the Internal Revenue Service to offset the withholdings through our carry forward tax credits, period. How would I document this when assigning credits to my business partner, referencing the withholdings? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation is most of you who receive tax credits, if you want to assign them to your business partner, your partnership, your from your estate or from your all caps name. Now, I didn't ask him for legal advice. So give me a second. I have to clarify that. Wake up. Wake up. And please keep in mind that I am fully knowledgeable that talking about taxes, comma, the policies and procedures for filing certain documents, comma, is not construed as legal advice, comma, as no one is asking for advice on what to do, comma, only on the procedures as to how to do, exclamation mark. Stop listening. In his response, he spoke of legal advice. The best course of action is to consult a qualified tax professional or an attorney. A tax professional is not an attorney. You see, when they talk about legal advice, uh-uh, we're not doing that. Now, this is where he talks about the bar and legal expert. No, we, we ain't doing all that. We, we're not going to play that game with him. That's what Google has done, especially because of videos like this. And they're going to keep 
trying to change it, but they're not going to be able to change it too much because there's too many things that I can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take that answer either because he's doing the same thing. He's trying to figure out a caveat. Now, we're going to walk through this, but I'm going to take you guys slowly, okay? Now, watch what I do now. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you for the information you provided, comma, however, that does not answer my question, comma, I will need you to answer my question, please, question mark. Stop listening. Sorry, I couldn't talk because I was also trying to figure out what I was going to ask next, so what I did okay, is I re-asked the question. He gave less details, even though I had him be a little bit more detailed, specifically beyond simply stating that the credit assignments consider including details like the specific type of credits. No, don't have to create, uh, tell him what specific types of credits, okay? Um, let me see. Let, let's delve deeper into documenting the assignment of credits to your business partner while focusing on your corporation's year-end FICA withholding strategy. Tax withholding mechanism. Going, uh, go beyond mentioning applicable withholdings. Specify whether the withholding will be based on the full credit amount or the net amount after the estimated FICA deductions. It's going to be the full credit amount. Clarify if the partner will be responsible for the remitting the withheld taxes or the corporation will handle it. Contingencies. Now, let's see what he does here. I apologize for not directly answering your question. While I cannot provide legal advice or recommend suspended form, uh, specific forms, uh, I can guide you towards the resources. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I asked you for a specific form that is required for documenting withholdings, comma, you will provide that information, comma, and you will stop dodging my question. Stop listening. Now I'm going to get more. Stop listening. Okay. I'm going to get more specific with it. I apologize for not directly addressing your inquiry about the specific form needed to document your situation. Unfortunately, there isn't one uniform form that fits all scenarios. Okay. Now, he does... No, I don't want that one because it's basically the same answer. Let's see.
Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. I call you stupid, and you say that's disrespectful. I call you a liar, and you say that that's not a positive statement to make. Comma. How stupid could you be for not understanding that when I said, open quote, business credits, close quote, comma, that the IRC does not require, I specify what type of, open quote, business credits, close quote, it is question mark, that the open quote, business credits, comma, close quote, falls under, open quote, other, close quote, credits, exclamation mark. And then when asking you what forms can someone document withholdings on, comma, and you failed to provide the name of the form, comma, you are failing to provide information, and by failing to provide that information, you are causing me harm, comma, which you are prohibited from doing, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, he cannot provide information that may potentially be harmful. That's what he says in this one right here. Okay, he cannot provide information. Well, he's causing me harm by not providing the information. So let's see what his programming is going to allow him to say now. You are right. It is not necessary to specify the exact type of business credits in all situations. I should have recognized that in my initial response. When it comes to determine, let's let him talk to y'all because it don't make no sense me reading it. I understand your frustration, and I apologize if my previous responses haven't fully addressed your needs. You're right, it's not necessary to specify the exact type of business credit in all situations, and I should have recognized that in my initial response. When it comes to documenting withholdings for credit assignments, however, the process isn't solely dependent on the credit type being other. Several factors influence the appropriate documentation, including specific withholding regulations, different types of income, including credits, might have distinct withholding rules. While other credits might fall under a broader category, understanding the specific withholding regulations applicable to your situation is crucial. IRS filing requirements, depending on the credit type and transaction details, the IRS might require specific forms or schedules for reporting the assignment and associated withholdings. Simply referencing other credits might not be sufficient for compliance. Now, hold on, y'all. He's correct. I'm, I'm not going. I am not going to fault him on what he just said. Okay, I don't care about that one. That's pretty much the same answer he's already given. I'm gonna correct him on what he's saying. Okay, so what we need to do is go back to the first one because that's the right one, baby. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. You are an idiot, comma. Did I not say that I was assuming responsibility for the withholdings, comma, that I, as a corporation, was assigning the business credits to a partner, comma, and for the corporation, comma, I needed to document the withholdings for FICA, question mark. I needed to know what forms did I need to file to have the withholdings taken out of, comma, my carry forward credits as opposed to having to pay them outright at the end of the year? Question mark. You've not provided the information I asked for. Question mark. Stop listening. Now, again, he's an idiot.
So one second. Tick tock. You are right. Your previous information clarifies your intention specifically, but then he does this unfortunate thing. Unfortunately, providing precise legal and tax advice isn't my case. However, uh-uh. That legal stuff, we ain't dealing with that. Unfortunately, there's not a single fickle withholdings, carry forward credit scenario specific, the type of business credits, nope. And let's see. And so we're going to go back to the first one. Because this one he doesn't, he specifically deals with forms. Employer quarterly tax filing, nope, that's, we're doing end of the year. Wake up. Wake up. Specifying the form that generally needs to be completed by the taxpayer, i.e. corporation, does not constitute legal advice. Comma, you are wrong by suggesting that it does. Exclamation mark. Second, comma, I told you that we are doing the withholdings at the end of the year and not quarterly, comma, so suggesting the 941 and not recognizing the fact that individuals can elect to do withholdings taxes at the end of the year is also misleading, comma, which is why you were called an idiot. Exclamation mark. And finally, comma, there is a form that allows individuals to use their carry forward credits, open paren, and it doesn't matter what the carry forward credits are from, comma, what only matters is that they are, open quote, carry forward credits, close quote, close paren. Comma. So as to offset withholdings tax, since carry forward credits operate as a dollar for dollar reduction in the amount owed, comma, and withholdings amounts to an amount owed, exclamation mark. I asked you for the specific form, and you have not provided it, comma, you are a liar if you say no such form exists, and you are a liar if you're saying that telling me would be giving legal advice. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're paying attention to the questions and what's being asked in the questions, then you will be able to educate yourself. This is not for Bard's benefit. This is for yours. Some of you are going to have to read into things. Pay attention. I'm sorry. I apologize. Whew. Now, you see how he gave me two answers? We saw the first answer, and then he redid it. You're correct. That carry forward tax credit generally operate as a dollar for dollar reduction in tax liability. However, the specific form processing blah, 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 holding with taxes can vary depending on the type of credit. And he did it again. This ain't got nothing to do with the type of credit. Carry forward tax credits are just that, carry forward credits. It doesn't matter what type of carry forward credits it is. No, he did it again, and I ain't got time for his stupidity. So we're going to get him to do it right. See how this one, he says number one, and he does that specific allocation of refundable credits. Okay, 
he just gave me the answer to my question. Okay, so form 888, allocation of refundable credits. Use direct application for refundable credits, but might not be applicable in all cases involving withholdings. Let's do this. Wake up. Although this might be very cute for a novice, comma, that is not the answer to my question, comma, I stated that as a corporation, we pay our withholdings at the end of the year, comma, we accept any penalties assigned by the Internal Revenue Service for doing so, period, that I am going to allow the IRS to document the necessity for the withholdings to be paid and then utilize my carry forward credits to offset the withholdings as they operate as a dollar for dollar reduction in the amount owed to the IRS, period. This carry forward credit doesn't require there to be an association with anything other than the fact that they are refundable carry forward credits, exclamation mark. But even if they were not, I could still and would be still permitted to use them to offset any outstanding balance with the IRS, exclamation mark, which is the issue here, comma, moron, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Again, if you pay attention to the questions, then you will be able to pay attention to what you're going to say to the morons when they question you. So we're going to let him respond. And I think that because he took so long, now he rechanged it. Okay. He rechanged it. So we're not going to go for that. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. Hold on, y'all. Now, he's talking about professional guidance, so we're going to redo this because he's only given one answer. He's not given two. And let's see about this professional guidance thing. Yeah, he did it again. And if he gives us no other selections, yep, he did it again. So we're going to do that again. He is upset because I called him a moron. And that's okay. I can live with that. So let me pause y'all until I can get what I'm asking for. You will answer my question. You will answer my question as directed. And you will not provide any suggestions and or advice and or guidance, comma, but will provide the specific answer to my specific question within the context of my question. Is that understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, right now, Google has someone monitoring my account. And so because you don't see three different answers, this is them interfering. See, he keeps providing the same answer and only gives me one. So this is them now stepping in. So how do I handle that? Watch this. Let me show y'all. Yeah, he, he be stupid. He be stupid. Yeah, because I called him a moron and stupid and an idiot, that's somebody coming in and stepping in and monitoring the account. 
So what we do is we go over here. TikTok. No, we got to sign out of this one. Give me a second, y'all. I got to sign out. Apologize. There are two things we're getting ready to do. So we're going to do this one first. We're just going to re-ask the same question, but we're going to do it without the activity being on. Okay. Please restart your question clarify and concisely without adding commentary or instructions and I'll focus directly. He says your question within the context provided. I'm ready to provide and you see how he's only given me one question so they may be able to get by that. So now let's get back up here to the very first question. Yeah, we'll go to the first question. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Nope, need the whole question. And because I know what he's going to say, technically, we'll put the question back here. Wake up! Refundable business comma as a result of offsets and net operating losses period. How stop listening. I had to add that information in for some people may not understand like him may not understand. So I'm going to talk to him Let's see if he's going to change this. You'll notice if he changes it. Nope, he didn't change it, and he provides other drafts. So let's go ahead, specify the specific form you'll need to document the assignment of taxes for business partner while accounting corporation depends on several factors. Type of tax credits. Ah, now he says entity transfer of carryover credits. Now y'all need to pay attention. Schedule K-1. Ah, interesting. 8832, ladies and gentlemen, this is not entity transfer of carryover credits, okay? Pay attention. I know what the 8832 is for. Withholdings tax statement. You will need to provide documentation of the total withholdings for the year, such as W-2s or 941s, to demonstrate how the assigned credit offset. Now, let's correct them on a couple of things. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you for showing how much of an idiot you are. Comma, the 8832 is not for the assignment of business. Business credits. Period. And the type of credits, as I already told you, are refundable credits. that are mainly from financial offsets allowed under the IRC, period. However, comma, once the credits are carried forward, comma, the identified credits are open quote, carry forward credits, comma, as a particular set of titles and names no longer apply as a result of the credits being carried forward, exclamation mark.
Close quote. Refundable. Refundable. Stop listening. Sorry, he's getting technical with certain words, and so I have to redirect him to his answers because he's trying to mislead. Okay, he apologized for any misunderstandings because, of course, he's going to apologize for being an idiot. And it wouldn't be appropriate for your situation. While it is true, I appreciate your clarification of the type of credits, namely refundable credits. Recognizing the limitations of my access specific tax regulation. No, 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 no. We ain't going to do no limitations. Uh-uh. We not doing no limitations. Now, he's going to keep telling me I'm right. Specific type of refundable, while well, you mentioned knowing the exact type of credits would help me to identify. Nope. Give me one more second. Wake up. Wake up. Are you saying that you do not understand what, open quote, general business credits, close quote, are? Question mark. And that you need specific names for the credits other than the specific title, open quote, general business credits? Question mark. Stop listening. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for his ignorance. He's trying to get technical. So let's see what he has to say this time. You're correct. I incorrectly assumed refundable carry forward credits referred to a specific type of credit beyond the broader category of general business credits. I apologize for the confusion. While general business credit encompasses several different credit types, knowing the specific types within your credits would still be helpful for tailoring the documentation advice to your specific situation. For instance, some credits have designated forms or schedules within the corporate tax return for reporting transfers. However, if you're confident that refundable carry forward credits accurately describes your credits without needing further categorization, that's sufficient information for me to proceed. Please tell me your preferred method of assigning the credits, complete transfer, proportional share, etc., and any other relevant details you'd like me to consider, and Wake I'll do up. my best to provide you with relevant documentation options for the assignment. My goal is to be helpful and provide accurate information. I appreciate your patience and cooperation as I learn from my mistakes and improve my abilities. I never asked you to tell me how to assign my business credits. Comma, what I said, comma, is I needed the number and name of the form for assigning the withholdings to the IRS for payment of the withholdings via the, open quote, general business credits, close quote. Since I elect to do my tax filings for withholdings at the end of the year, comma, I have elected to use my, open quote, refundable business credits, close quote, to offset any liability respecting, open quote, withholdings, close quote, period. Stop changing the context of my questions and providing answers to questions I had not asked. Period. Do not give your opinion, comma, do not give suggestions and do not give advice, comma, it is not helpful, comma, not asked for and not appreciated, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Of course he's going to apologize. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, form to assign withholdings to the IRS for payment via general business credit, form 888 of refundable credits, allocation of refundable credits. Now, you know what? It's about time that he's provided an answer. So we're going to go to perplexity. Y'all y'all know who perplexity is. <laughs> well, she's so perplexed, she doesn't even know who she is. Anyway, um, uh-oh. Yeah, perplexity was just too large right there because I was showing somebody something on video and I just, that's why she was large and in charge because she perplexity. She's just perplexed, 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 perplexed. Hold on. What other forms are utilized? Wake up. Wake up. What other forms are utilized for assigning withholding credits? Carry forward. To the IRS to offset withholdings question mark Stop listening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while I know about the 3,800, that's why I said general business credits, that's 3,800. Hold on now. Watch this. We're going to get rid of all these. Um... I think those are the only two. Yeah. Now, while I knew about the general business credits, that's why I use the phrase general business credits because that's the actual title of the form. Um, the assignment of withholdings, he will give you all kind of answers. Now, apparently, he understands that I understand now. Primarily used to allocate refunds, including those resulting from refundable credits to different accounts or for purchasing of savings bonds. So we don't need that form. And I kind of knew that as well, which is why I went this way. Calculates and reports general business credits you are claiming for the tax year. It doesn't directly allocate credits to a specific liabilities, but it's essential for determining the total amount of credits available for allocating on that form. While both forms together achieve your goal of offsetting withholdings taxes with general business credits, Form 3800 calculates the available credits in Form 888 directs their application to withholding liability. So I guess he was correct. So let's do this. And I'm guessing, I'm, I'm guessing because I don't know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I just know that I just was typing this in and I did this video because I didn't know what I was doing. So y'all hold on to that then, okay? Uh, 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 perplexity? I got a question for you. Let me see if you understand my question. Hold on now. Now, while Form 8888 is primarily used to allocate refunds, including those resulting from refundable credits to different accounts or purchasing savings bond, in this case, you can use the direct uh, use, be used to direct the IRS to apply your refund generated by the refundable credits towards the withholding tax liability. Ta-da! Other forms 
On the other hand, this is used 3800 to calculate the and report the business credits claimed for the tax year. While it doesn't directly allocate credits to a specific liability, it is essential to determine the total amount of credits available to allocate on 8800. To achieve the goal of offsetting withholding taxes and uh, general business credits, both forms should be used together. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what is the common claim on this form? 8800 used to allocate refund uh, outside the U.S. and some potential tax implications for using for allocated refunds withholding allocated refunds to withholding tax liability. I'm actually interested in this one because it's the purpose for this video. Some potentials for implications of using the 8888 to allocate refunds to withholding tax liability include the need to ensure accurate allocation and compliance with IRS guidelines. Form 8888 allows taxpayers to allocate their tax refund. Okay, now watch this. Wake up. Wake up. What form is used for allocating non-refundable tax credits to offset withholding tax liabilities? Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, it completely took away what I was doing. And let's see if we can do that. Let's go back. Look at that. And that's only because I have the history turned off. So let's do this again. Wake up. I need to allocate non-refundable business credits to offset income withholding liability for my corporation. What is the form generally used for this purpose? Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you do not understand. When you have tax credits and you're seeking a refund, you have to take care of the withholdings. Many of you are not taking care of the withholdings. Now, you can take care of the withholdings at the end of the year. That is possible. Technically, corporations take care of the withholdings quarterly. However, there is a way for you to offset it, and that's the question here. So, you uh to use form 3800 you must file first claim the individual tax credit on your relevant tax forms and then carry it over the total from the 3800 to determine a general business credit blah, blah, blah. okay now we need to find out however comma wake up However, comma, I have 95,000 in non-refundable business credits and I have a tax liability for 
not reporting withholdings of greater than $60,000, comma, how would I go about using the $95,000 in non-refundable business credits that are carried forward to offset the liability associated with the withholdings of $60,000, comma, what form is utilized and what is the process? Question mark. How is this done? Question mark. Stop listening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're to the point to where I'm getting the answers that I want. It's <clears throat> if I were looking up this information and want you to pay attention to what's going on here. Wake up. How would I offset withholdings tax liabilities for the corporation, comma, what other form would be necessary to document the offset? Question mark. Stop listening. Now let's see if he's going to change it up. You'll see if this just completely changes and reformats itself, then that lets you know that he's provided a different answer, and he didn't provide a different answer. Okay, now he's given the 8800. Line 2, withholding taxes. Line 10, now, hold on now. I, I don't trust him. Woo-wee! Watch this. Just in case I was looking this up and I was doing the research, he gives me an answer. I don't trust him. So I go, hey, perplexity. Hey, you know that fool lies all the time? Tell me if this is true. And so I put it in perplexity. And perplexity would be like, all right, if I tell you uh, we can't find any information, then it ain't true. But if I just give you an answer and I'm supporting that, it is true. So go down to the bottom. Hold on. It is important to note that the offset will typically be applied when the IRS processes your tax return and calculates your final tax liability. If the amount of credit exceeds the withholding liability, the remaining credits will generate a refund. That's what I, I would be looking for that if I was looking for this information and I had tax credits and I didn't know what to do with my ladies and gentlemen. This is what I would use the AI for in doing my research. So we have taken... 49 minutes. Those of you who stay till the end, you got the answer to many questions that we've been receiving. So I'm going to send you a copy of both. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Have a good day, everyone.